It's 2024, and yet again time for another top 5 best police games. We're gonna include lots of good stuff today. On place number 5, we got Emergency Hamburg, a German roleplay game that has grown very big the last 2 years. Now for the police, this game is really awesome, and I think a few of you might already have heard of this game. So as you can see, we're outside the police station now, so when you get inside, you actually end up seeing this guy standing over here, and you basically just walk up to him, you press E, and you will get this little menu here, and when you enter this menu, you can choose either patrol police traffic police undercover police or sek basically swat now patrol police is the basic police we're just gonna go with that you press start shift and yeah you're now officially a cop if you run in here you got the locker room and if you press e you can access it and you can equip and unequip items such as guns radars police tape tasers stop sticks more guns warning signs and some more guns <laughs> yeah that's a pretty cool system right there now if you hold tab you actually got an inventory in which you can select things like your gun see here you can even zoom in if you want to you can pull out basically anything you want if you want the handcuffs if you want the baton you just pull it out now you also got a phone which i think is pretty cool in here you got a bunch of menus all of these work by the way but we also have a police menu that you can access for example you can check security cameras and yes you can actually see the cameras too you can see there's a fire truck pulling up to the gas station right now you're able to see it from the camera here's the vault and yeah this is a really cool system which i haven't seen in any other game before but it's pretty awesome now in there you can also access people so if you want to look somebody up you basically just press their name you can see their previous crimes this dude has done a lot of bad stuff 31 x assault firearm that's insane and if you continue down the corridor you will see this vehicle menu you press e and you can access the vehicles now you're not going to be able to spawn every one of these because you require some type of xp in order to get them but you can early unlock the vehicles by robux if you want to but in here you choose what car you want to spawn and you can also buy some game pass vehicles such as the quad and some other things they look very different and they feel very different they are unique in some way and as you can see the ELS looks pretty awesome too it's not anything too crazy but it definitely does look pretty awesome now something that I think is pretty cool with this game so if I want to open this door I walk towards it I push it open with my hand as you can see and yeah it looks really smooth everything is just so clean if you decide to buy the SWAT game pass or in German called Special Operations Command Commando Spielskraft you get access to a cool uniform and some awesome protective gear to stand against the most hardened criminals and as you can see it looks absolutely fantastic now if you join the SWAT team you get a little bit of cooler stuff for example the M4 carbon a ladder Top stick sniper generally just a lot of cool stuff you also get access to the swat vehicles such as the survivor r and the armored truck this one right here is absolutely crazy now as you can see the difference between the normal police and the swat team is the fact that all cars are in a different color and they are undercover so nobody will be able to tell that you are a police officer you're basically undercover but also not undercover you know now one of the best parts about this game is the fact that you can mess around with people as undercover police now for undercover police you don't really get a unit uniform instead you just get your gear now you basically get the same gear as the normal police but you just look differently now undercover police just like SWAT doesn't have any liveries on their police cars and that is kind of the whole point of being undercover police basically everything you could possibly need as a cop exists here so really no criminals will stand a chance against you well I'm an exception now let's not forget all the cool features that they offer in emergency Hamburg you have a pretty cool radio you can use to communicate with other cops and if you press Y you have quick command and options an example being giving you a location not only that but there are also lots of robberies criminals can start within the city limits one of them being a bank robbery and another one being a jewelry store robbery overall this game is really fun and i've had lots of great moments playing it on the fourth place of this list i wanted to include city of character most people have not heard of this game but i think it truly fits this spot city of character has something unique to offer for everyone and if you would like to place a police officer then this game is truly for you city of character is very different to other roleplay games you have played in the past it's extremely realistic since nobody fail or peace and most people are old enough to have decent roleplays one really cool thing with this game is the fact that you can join different gangs and the police has lots of stuff to do at all times this game has however changed over the past few years one thing being going from mesh cars to blocky cars but either way it's a game i highly recommend you get yourself into the game looks incredible and the map is huge and really fun to play and the game also happens to get some really big updates every once in a while so i think it's worth tuning in 
to. Also, let's not forget to mention, community is whitelist only, so you must get accepted in order to play the game. Now, on the third spot, we got a game called Maple County. Some may argue this is Roblox's most realistic police slash roleplay game and looks similar to Law Country, but when it comes to graphics, everyone agrees that this looks absolutely amazing. Maple County definitely deserves this spot as it's a game that's being often updated and feels great to play. Now, this game can be quite active at times, but overall, the game isn't super popular, and I think the reason behind that is due to its realism. This kind of game doesn't really fit everyone as some people want action directly. But if you get into Maple County, you won't quit anytime soon. I can almost promise you that. Now when you load into Maple County, you simply press Y to open the phone, go down to the briefcase, and here you can choose team. Now there are two police teams. There's FPD and MTSO. MTSO being sheriff and FPD being normal police. Once you have decided what team you want to join, you press join, you enter your call sign, and you press join. Now you're gonna see this. In here you can customize your character. If you want to change your skin tone, you can do that. If you want to add a hat, then you add a hat. You can change shirt. So if you want to have a high visibility jacket, you basically put it on. Or if you want to have a detective jacket or shirt, you can put that on. Then there is the same thing for pants. And you can also put on different vests. For example, reflective vests, police vests, body cameras, etc. Now there's also a belt you can put on. And this belt is super cool because you're able to customize it. If you press customize, you get into this little menu. And here you can drag and drop things to where you want them. So if you want a pepper spray pouch and you basically just drag that onto the belt yeah you can do this and yeah it's pretty cool super advanced stuff the customization here is insane once you're done you press confirm and then you got your character ready it's just to press deploy after this and as you can see this is looking real good now after this you want to head to the armory because over here you can get your guns and this game works in a different way because most of the guns are going to be locked as you're new to the game because you got to rank up from cadet to the different kinds of ranks in order to get some of these other guns so as you can see there are rifles, pistols, SMGs, and even shotguns. Now in here you can of course grab your handcuffs, pepper spray, tasers, batons, radar guns, flashlights, ticket books, etc, etc. And after you have grabbed your stuff, you basically head out here to the car garage, and you run up to one of these computers, you view the cars, and here you can select whatever vehicle you want. Now there are some good options here, and some that are really hard to get. As you can see, the 2018 Rambo here is for rank 8 sergeant, and these two right here are for the cadets. So let's say you grab this ram right here. Here. Now you might feel like this is good enough to just spawn in, but you can actually customize it by pressing edit. You can change the lights, liveries, you can see there's unmarked and standard, you can change plates, plate icons, you can even change equipment. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Now the cars look insane too, they're insanely realistic. And this game has some advanced features, for example, you press E and press this enter vehicle button in order to get in, and you press Z to start the engine. As you can see, the livery looks absolutely fantastic. It looks looks great and as you can see on the top left you also got a radio if you want to access the radio you have to press control then you can drag your mouse up here or you use the button that you yourself might have picked you're actually able to customize it in the settings menu and up here you can also show your availability so if you're busy you press the busy button if you are off duty you press that if you press U, you got this little police portal or CAD and in here you're able to see the police database a call menu and the map if you enter the database you can search up people's names or plate numbers let's say we grab noob master here going to him on here you can actually check his citations arrest records vehicles and firearms which is pretty epic not only that but you can also enter the trunk and put things in there as well as drag things into your inventory out of your trunk you can tell the developers really put time into the game overall maple county is one of my favorite games that i highly recommend you check out and before we go on to the next game there are ai calls that you can actually receive in game now for the second spot we got a game called paris california this might genuinely be my favorite roblox game and the reason is simple the game is absolutely fantastic not only is it super realistic and looks but it feels realistic too if you compare paris to for example emergency hamburg paris doesn't have that animated feeling or what do i say game feeling the same way it has more of a simulator feeling due to how it looks and plays out now sometimes on different occasions they even spawn in tanks, juggernauts, and all sorts of things within the game to add some extra spice into the roleplay. Now I can assure you that I have had lots of fun in this game, and you're most likely gonna have fun too. However, if you don't know how to roleplay, then please do not play this game. I'm seeing people getting banned over and over again in the game for fail RPing and for just running around shooting everyone they see, and sadly, some of those people come from my channel, so please don't be that guy because it ruins the experience for other users. If you wanna shoot people, do it into some kind of roleplay instead, don't just go 
go around and kill everyone you see unless there is a very specific reason for it when you load into paris you're gonna be a little confused but down in the left corner you will see the briefcase and if you spam click it for a while it is kind of glitched at the moment you will receive this menu and in here you will find all the different teams now this game has lots of teams for example we get california highway patrol national guard currently in devdo riverside police or banning police various security services i don't know if that's classified as a police team you get fbi you get riverside sheriff and then you also got sru which is basically swat let's join the sheriff's team and check it out so once you have joined the team you will get this little menu pop up and here you gotta just write in a call sign you gotta then press activate radio from here you just enter a building by pressing the door handle like this once you've gotten inside you gotta look around till you find the locker room which for the sheriff's team is found over here at the gym when you walk through it you will find the locker room and in here you can customize your character so if you press the lockers you're actually able to choose a duty belt so if you want to have a belt layer 4 then you put that on you can customize it a little if you want to and you can also grab a handgun and you're able to grab all of these by the way so you can fill your inventory with a bunch of different things which is kind of glitched but yeah it's interesting then for uniforms you're able to put on long sleeve short sleeve whatever you like and yes there is a little glitch here with thing disappearing but yeah you can also put on the ranks and awards so if you are a good marksman then you can grab that little badge there's just a bunch of things you can add here now if you continue throughout here you will see another door if you go to the left over here you will find the logistics section in here you can find the big cavalry meaning the big guns they basically just click these and you grab them and they should be in your inventory after it if you press the button above tab now the guns in this game are absolutely fantastic i really like them they are super realistic you can turn on flashlights etc and yeah they shoot really nice too you have different firing modes as you can see and this looks absolutely fantastic the animations and sound design as well as the effects look great you get different guns of course for example the shotgun right here which also looks really nice you can also grab a radio and uh, put on whatever layout you want there's also some headgear for example a cowboy hat and some glasses you can even put on a ballistic helmet if you would like to but now the cowboy hat is in the way instead and yeah you got shields too and here you got the beanbag shotgun now let's walk back outside and I'm gonna show you all where you spawn your car. So yeah, when you're outside, you're gonna be a little confused because there's a bunch of different people standing here. And this one right here is for the body cam. So yeah, here you got a canine spawner if you wanna spawn a canine. Here you got the sheriff enhancement game pass, which are basically just cars that are kind of like traffic police cars. And over here, you got the actual like police spawner. And in here, you can find a bunch of different vehicles. And there's lots of them to choose off. But yeah, all of them are pretty nice and look great but yeah, you just open the door you get inside close the door press e to start the car and you press shift to drive forward and you use control to go back in neutral or reverse basically you press it twice get into that mode you press q to put on your seat belt now els looks pretty good too in this game it can probably be improved but it looks pretty awesome and the cars are really cool now if you want to leave the police department you actually just drive to the gate and you type in the code and the code can be found within the police department itself and yeah something i want to show you are the car crash physics so let's say you drive into a wall at fast speed let's take this wall for example you will see your car can actually break and different things happen to it as you can see it can turn on fire it can get completely broken etc it's pretty interesting you can even die from this now if you buy the in-game premium you're actually able to spawn helicopters on the roof and these helicopters are super cool to mess around with and yeah there's one for sheriff one for chp and one for medic but yes this looks absolutely fantastic Fantastic. and both pilot and co-pilot seat works in different ways for co-pilot seat you will actually see underneath the helicopter and for pilot yeah you're the pilot you know <laughs> maple county takes number one in customization but i think paris takes number one in realism not only that but the map looks great and it's generally just a vibe now for place number one we got erlc or in better terms emergency response liberty county erlc is usually called the best police game on roblox not due to its realism but due to all the systems put in place you won't really get bored of the game even if there aren't any players on since there are ai calls to respond to but this game has never had a player issue so the ai calls you just an extra feature to 
to have fun with. And for the police, you have lots of tools, uniforms, vehicles, and other things to choose from. Not only that, but in private servers, all these things can be completely changed to your own liking, as you are able to import your own liveries and uniforms. And one of the absolute coolest features within the game is the fact that you can customize your police cars to a very big extent, for example, adding antennas, removing the wraparound bar, and more. Not only that, but you can also run ERLC on your phone and tablet, you don't need to buy anything too expensive in order to get on the game, such as a PC. When I said AI calls, I forgot to mention the in-game CAD system that very similar to the one in Maple County. You have lots of features on it, such as looking up information about a specific person, but you're also able to send in helicopter support, which also happens to be AI. All it does is basically track criminals, so Paris system I think is a lot cooler. Now in ERLC, you're most likely not gonna have the most fun in a public server. I instead recommend you get onto a private server, because that's where you're gonna find a good role place. So the reason ERLC is on place number one is due to its popularity and how many different servers there are that you can actually join up and have some fun role plays within. Now there is one more thing I would like to mention before I end this video and that is our upcoming game called Princeton. I recently made a video showcasing the map. The game will release in a few weeks but honestly you don't want to miss this video so please check it out if you haven't already and yeah thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you in the next video as well. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.